Hey folks, uh, this is uh, Sasha Ayevich for the Other Ken blog, and I know it's been a while since we've done a review of anything. Towards the end of the year, I tend to slow down or get sped up with other shit, and reviewing the spirits I'm drinking is not always possible. Well, today, <clears throat> at tonight, because you can see the timestamp when this gets uploaded to YouTube, um, we're going to review a uh, pretty standard bourbon, Buffalo Trace. It's uh, 45 proof out of uh, Kentucky, of course. Uh, the large format actually has a funny story behind it. Normally, uh, I think I told you guys last time we did a review when I did the Eagle Rare that uh, I drink the uh, Weller because of the value. I can keep it as my house bourbon and that's fine. Well, the package store I go to is out of the Weller, which is annoying because this is more money than I'm being cheap, I guess, whatever. Uh, for this bottle, so 1.75 liter bottle, uh, I spent, I don't know, I think about uh, just under 40 and um, it's good as far as overall, uh, but let's go ahead and crack it open. It's been a while since I've had this anyway. Besides, it's about that time to start. Hopefully you guys had had, oh there it is, some fun holiday memories and let's not cut my fingers off. There we go. There we go. Like the Eagle Rare, uh, there is a cork on the uh, bottle. So let's go ahead and take our trusty glass, just wash it out, and give us a pour. Alright, set that down. The first thing I notice about the glass is the uh, amber color. Of course, it's a little darker in color than the uh, Eagle Rare was. But we'll give it the swirl and the sniff. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but normally there's that pungent alcohol bite when you do this kind of thing in a glass like this. It happens in wine glasses. My normal drinking glass, um, same thing. And it's not the Buffalo Trace. Actually, it's the uh, last of my Wiser's. <clears throat> Again, a New Year's thing. So, let's nose this bad boy. The alcohol burn, but there's a slight hint of caramel in there. Now, again, I've had this before, so I know to expect the spice, but the last bottle I had of this didn't have so much of a kick, so let's try it now. Wow, that is different. That is a punch in the face right there, as far as spice. It's smooth, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but, right from the get-go, there's cinnamon and... Actually, yeah, prominent cinnamon flavors, along with hints of vanilla, and there's woodsiness in the back end. A um, little bit of floralness coming out which is interesting because I've never experienced that with this particular bourbon. It's usually the floral notes come out in um, Four Roses Yellow Label, which is a great mixer, by the way. Um, <clears throat> nice vanilla aftertaste. The spice tones down a little bit. Not a whole lot, but enough. So you've got that cinnamon, you've got that kick. It's not really one of the heavier bourbons. Uh, it, like Elijah Craig 12 would be, for example. Elijah Craig 12 is thicker, but we'll get to that at some point. Because it is actually a favorite of mine right now as far as, like, your under $45 bottles of bourbon. Retail on, uh, the Buffalo Trace, uh, around here, actually, I'll give you the price I paid for this, uh, about $27 for a fifth. This was 39 I think it was, because it's almost two liters of bourbon. And I'd say it's a really good value. It's I'll have some information about the place underneath when I do this for a blog post. But as always, um, this is definitely, to relate this back to my original hook thing, this is kind of one of those bourbons that like my characters in many of my books would have started with. Um, 
Derek from uh, that's un untitled. No, we changed the title of that. What do we call it? It's late. Forgive me. Anyway, Derek from the Puma story I keep pimping in this blog, he would have started off with this before moving up to something more uh, refined. And he would not be ashamed to drink this. Matter of fact, most folks I know are not ashamed to drink Buffalo Trace. It's really solid. Like I said, great bang for the buck. Uh, nice aftertaste. Nice finish. It's medium. It's, uh, yeah, more medium than Eagle Rare. Put it that way. Mmm. Yes, yeah, still that cinnamon, but it does mellow out a bit when it opens up. So, a little bit of complexity in there, good flavors, solid bourbon, great price, under 30 for a fifth. Check it out. You've been watching uh, Sasha Levich on uh, this blog. By the way, I will cover cigar reviews here too when I can figure out how to do that without being indoors. Um, Alright, until next time. Cheers.